Welcome back, Travis Burks from Price Cutters here with his amazing uh, seared tuna. And we have tilapia getting ready yep. to go. Mm -hmm. The tuna is ready, so he's already cut one for us, but he's going to cut one live to tell us the proper way to cut right. this, which I didn't know there was a proper way. No. Well, if you cut it one, if you cut it, you, you cut either way, but if you cut it the wrong way, you're just going to have long strands. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a steak. If you cut a steak wrong, it's going to be tougher. Yeah. So, um, one thing you want to make sure you do when you do tuna is when you're, when you cook it, when you prepare it, you want to go pretty much from skillet to plate to eat. Okay. Kind of and eat it quickly. Eat it quickly. So, what we've done is we're going to go against the grain. See, the grains are running mm -hmm. one direction there. We're just going to come in here. Oh, man. Cut about half inch steaks. Look at that color. Do you call that a steak? A tuna steak. Tuna uh -huh. steak, yeah. Because it comes off of a loin, mm -hmm. so um, they, they call it a steak. That is so beautiful. It is beautiful. I may have a tough on one side. It's kind of tearing apart. That's okay. No, no, it looks it great. It still tastes good to me. Oh, yeah. Jeremy's <laughs> eating about a half of one already. <laughs> Kelly! I can't believe you told the audience I've been cheating. <laughs> hey, we keep it real here. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. He was cutting one, and I was like, it is so oh, beautiful. yeah, it is. So what, what we've done also, before we did the marinade, and I failed to say this earlier, we set a little bit aside. Mm -hmm. So when we set some aside, then we can take this, what we had left over uh -huh. aside, and put it on top of each piece like this. That mixture is just amazing. I cannot oh, tell you how good this so good. marinade sauce is. Yeah. I will be making that. I've got the recipe right here. I'll be making it at I'm home. I'm thinking of all the things I can put that marinade on. I'm sure it would be good on chicken uh -huh. even. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, I'd be great I on chicken. Or even a salad, so. Oh, yeah. That's Look at that. Yes, here, I'll hand this right to you, Matt. There we go. Sorry. I'll hold it. Look how beautiful that, that is, That is Kel. gorgeous. So pretty. That is just picture perfect, it cooked to perfection. It really is. Oh, I can't wait. I'm going to dig into this one, though, Kel. Okay. Is that right? And then sure. you're going to try some tilapia. I'm going to try some tilapia here when it comes out. Yeah, I think it's ready. So what we're going to do. That didn't Jeremy, take hardly any no, time. No, that was great. And you need to share that recipe with me, Jer, over there, too. Oh, yes, absolutely. And we'll share both of these. We'll take pictures of those. Okay, so, so I don't know if you can get that from the overhead or not, but that's the finished product. Beautiful. For tilapia. Now, one way you can make sure that it's done, um, you could follow the instructions. It's normal, almost always seafood is going to be dead on as far as timing goes. You could use your meat thermometer, which would be 140 to 145. Or you can just kind of pull it with your fork. Oh, yeah, that's good. See how it flakes like oh, that? Oh, right, yeah. That, that's a sign that the fish is done as well. You know, I tend to cook it too long. Me too. And, and then I put the fork in and it flips up on both sides. And that, that's going to happen. You know, <laughs> again, that comes from just being patient and learning how, you know, cooking more with seafood. Right. So we'll go ahead and we'll take some of this off here. Now, do you cut that a certain way too, or not really? You can, no. She is very tender. So. Oh, yeah, Guys, I'm just adding more marinade to my um, tuna. Yeah. There you go. And uh, it's so good. Saw that. That that's just gorgeous. Okay. Thank you, Travis. And that's again, nice with with this, fish. you can always do vegetables mm -hmm. um, yeah. or some rice if you want to do rice mm -hmm. with that. Yeah. And if you'll notice, we did these two pieces in less than 20 minutes. Right. Yeah. So, so really, it's not a time-consuming way to make. Uh, seafood at your house. It's oh. quick and then quick to eat. Yeah, and <laughs> that it's good. Is so good. And there's other options. You could always use tea. You know, I like to make tacos and stuff. So oh yeah. You could make mm. fish tacos if you want to do that. You could even do that. I love fish tacos. Right. I do too. So that's another option. You would just shred that up a little bit. Throw it on now I know you already idea. put. I haven't tried this yet. You put stuff on that, but could you use? Is there a certain type of fish better for fish tacos? And could I use this marinade on my fish tacos? You could use that marinade on your fish hey, tacos. Can I try some yeah. of that marinade? Just, yes, just because absolutely. Because I, I, I'm smelling how good it is. You're gonna love it. It's so, gonna be fine on this too, right? It would. I don't know why it wouldn't be. I, I mean, it's I delicious. Try it. Listen, it's delicious as it is, but can I, I just cut a little piece of that tilapia? Yeah, I don't want to take a whole piece oh, here, because yeah. I want I'm other people in the studio girl. to try it. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I should probably not eat all this either. I should probably let some other people try it. So I'll cut some. But it's really like hard when you're eating on TV and it's so good. You you know it's like you can't stop eating. Right, it's so I know what it's like. <laughs> Find something. Oh wow. Well, well usually it's we good. haven't had breakfast. And either. you haven't eaten it either. Right. Mm -mm. So I'll save this. For but that tilapia. I don't. I'm gonna try to do it like you because that's not, I've not made it like this at home. It's not turned out this good at home. So you've got the directions here. This is uh, heated to 375. Right. And so you can use a re regular conventional oven. Yeah, we we just use this convection oven, but you, okay. your regular oven, about 12 minutes. 12 minutes. All right, minutes. good to know. Good to know. I'm like flabbergasted. I, us I usually leave it in like 21 or yeah. 2. That's why it's, yeah. it flips up. That's why it flips fork. up. And if you wanted to even, you could start at like 8 minutes, check it, uh -huh. and then see where it is. And then if you want to add 4 or 5 more minutes, you can do that too. Mm -hmm. And Travis, also... Remind everybody about the amazing seafood selection that you have at Price Cutter and what's available 
uh, going on at all the local price cutters and we country have marts. Everything from fresh seafood in our seafood cases to frozen, and we have just about every frozen fish you could find, and they're all individually frozen pieces and portion oh, size. So, if you just wanted to pull a couple out for dinner before you went to work yeah. that day, when you get home they're going to be thawed out. You could just prepare them then, or you could swing by the store on your way home and grab some fresh product and, yeah. and have it then too. I have a quick Definitely. question about freezing, though. If you if you buy it frozen, what's the best way to defrost it, and do you have to defrost it before you cook it? You you're you're better off defrosting it before you cook it. I would just set it in the in the fridge and let it do its own thing. Oh, right. in the fridge, you, like yeah. all day. So you add water to it sometimes. I mean, if you're in a hurry, you could do that. But sometimes the water could, it, depending on the temperature, cook it, and then you're then you're going to be in a different situation. So you just <laughs> let it sit out and just let it. Okay. Do it. All right. Well, and one more thing I should mention is once you thaw out fish, you cannot refreeze it. So you have to oh, make sure Oh, that you, so just take the pieces out. That's why the frozen is good. Take right. the pieces out that you need and put the rest back in the freezer. Correct. That's amazing. Good. Also, good. I just had an idea because you were talking about how the water could cook it. Could you come back at some point and make ceviche? Because you know how the lime juice cooks yep. the fish? Oh, right. yeah. Yep. And I'm always fascinated right. by the chemistry of that yeah, making the amazing. fish cook. Yeah, we can give it a try. Sure. Okay, thank you. We always love when you cook for thank us. You, Travis. Travis. Thank you, Travis. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, when we come back, we're talking. Talking to Kevin and Liz. Don't go away. We'll be right back. This is so good. Oh. Unbelievable. That marinade.